Unrest grows as protests stretch into a fifth straight day, some turning violent, others more peaceful. The student-led demonstrations have now spread to nine states and today grew to include politicians. Opposition Congress leader Priyanka Gandhi says the government has attacked students by entering universities, so we will fight for the Constitution. Universities have turned into protest sites, police moving in with batons and tear gas. On one campus, these young women try to protect their male friend from officers becoming symbols of a movement overnight. The controversial Citizenship Amendment Bill, or CAB, was signed into law last week. It promises to fast-track citizenship for religious minorities from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan, but specifically excludes Muslims. Critics call it religious discrimination. It's not done. It should not be happening. You know, CAB. We are opposing this bill because this bill is unconstitutional. About 14% of India's population is Muslim. Prime Minister Narendra Modi leads a Hindu nationalist government. He's responded on Twitter, saying the violent protests are unfortunate and deeply distressing. Meanwhile, in British Columbia... So I would like Canadians to pay attention to what is going on. Gurpreet Singh is organizing a protest in Metro Vancouver. You cannot discriminate people on the basis of religion. If you are seeking, uh, asking people to come in and seek refuge, you are opening doors for them. You cannot say that, you know, only Hindus can come and Muslims can't. Back at this university in New Delhi, some students are simply packing up their bags and heading home, afraid of further violence if they stay. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Vancouver.